This Bill Davies, one of our cameramen who gives you those tremendous tight shots of the boats coming down the straightaway. And some of the better than 300,000 people on board. This is the Kenny Toyota ready to go out, or the Kenny Unlimited, they call it. This the Miller American, which is nipping at the heels of the Miss Budweiser for the National Point lead. Chip Anauer aboard, and out he heads onto the Seattle two-mile course. Let's take a look at the drivers for Heat 1B. There are five of them. And here are the drivers. George Johnson out of Seattle in the Oh Boy Oberto. Milner Irvin out of Coral Gables, Florida, driving the Frank Kenny Unlimited. Mike Anson, also a driver from the state of Washington in the AA Auto Supply. And Tom Deeth in his last race. He'll retire after today in the Squire Shop. Finally, Chip Hanauer and the Miller American, the turbine-powered boat. The five boats head down the main straightaway, and here we go with the start of Heat 1B. Right on the button was the Squire Shop and Tom DeEath, who has been known for his starts, especially this year. But on his inside hip, there he is, the Miller American and Chip Hanauer, already with good positioning as they go into the south turn. The Miller American holding on to lane number one down on that south choppy, choppy south turn. And now they go along, as you see the perspective shot, along the log boom, where many of those yachts have a front row seat to see the boats come by into that north turn. Look at the Miller American. It handles so beautifully this boat built by Jim Lacero, an absolutely gorgeous boat. And uh, this is Bob Style, the owner of the Squire Shop, which is currently in second place. Coming down to complete lap number one, the Miller American at 124.8 miles per hour. And in second place is Tom DeEath, as I said, in his last race, he's in second. Edward Muncy, this is the late Bill Muncy's son, who is shooting this boat right here, the Miller American. He's a part of the team, which is owned by Fran Muncy, the late Bill Muncy's wife. Chip Hanauer, again out of Seattle, who began his racing career in the K-Boats on Lake Sammamish, which is about a stone's throw away from Lake Washington. He is in front of his hometown crowd. Mike Hansen, same for him, aboard the AA Auto Supply. And again, to the back shoot. This is where it is so tricky because you have rollers coming off of these boats, and they run parallel with the course of the boats, which means the boats can easily get out of attitude and mess up the air, which is flowing normally under the boats very comfortably, but it can get very, very rough and tricky and downright dangerous. The Miller American, Chip Hanauer, second place, the Squire Shop, and Tom DeEath out of Fairhaven, Michigan. The U-2, a great boat. It used to be the Atlas Van Lines. Chip Hanauer drove that boat back in 1982 when they won the Gold Cup. The Miller American coming down probably be the last year for this boat. They have a new one that is already waiting down in Kent, which they will use next year. It'll have the new red and white colors of the Miller American for 1987. Back to Tom D, who got a second place. Over in Tri-Cities a week ago, he got a second, as a matter of fact, back in Evansville. A tremendous race with a Budweiser and Jim Kropfeld. Deeth led for four laps before the Budweiser finally overtook him. This boat, the Miller American, the theory behind this one, keep it light, let it fly over the turbulent waters, rather than trying to build huge sponsons and simply beat its way through the, through the rough water. As you see, again, the Squire Shop flying way up the right spots and getting up into the air as we got one of our cameras right in the cockpit with Tom Deeth. Miller American speed now, 126 miles per hour after lap number three. Michael Hansen aboard the AA Auto Supply. This was the U-40 a couple of years ago. Scotty Pierce drove it, and it has been around the circuit for quite some time. Back to the Miller American in a close national points race with the Budweiser. Just a little over 500 points behind. And now here again, he is Tom DeEath in second place. He hopes to come out of this maybe with a win as he ends his career here in Seattle. He says he'll go back to maybe the two and a half liters and just have fun in the smaller boats. Maybe some auto racing, but no more of the unlimiteds. Chip Hanauer, of course, what can you say about this man? He won his fourth consecutive Gold Cup on this very course last year in Seattle. Won his fifth this year in Detroit in the second race of 1986. Again, back to the Squire as he goes past the Oboy Alberto again. George Johnson having a tough time with the Alberto. He's done his best, and the crew has done its best of trying to get it to perform a little bit better for its sponsor, Art Alberto. Miller American still running. We have three boats running so far. The Frank Kenny Toyota, Frank Kenny Unlimited, went dead in the water. The Oboy Alberto, we understand, has been black flagged now because it was not maintaining a plane. So in second place is this boat, the Squire's shop, with Tom D. And in third place is Michael Hansen doing a great job. This is only his second race in the Unlimited. His first being in Tri-Cities one week ago. Jumped into the cockpit his first time and ran better than 110 miles per hour on a qualifying lap. So he has a 
bright future in the Illuminates as long as he can find that ride. And it's never that easy. The Miller American down the straightaway for the last time. 400 points in the winner of Heat 1B. Second place to the big red boat, the Squire Shop and Tom to eat 300 points to the Squire. So here it is, two, check that, three boats finishing, two, no luck for the Oboy Alberto and the Frank Kenny Unlimited. Let's go down to the Miller Camp and the Squire Camp. Chip, looks like it's uh, kind of a Sunday ride out there, that first heat. <laughs> well, yeah, I would uh, hope that the final will be like that, but both you and I know that it's not gonna be that easy. Water conditions, uh, any improved? Finest I've seen in Seattle. This is a rough place because I think we have 5,000 some pleasure boats out there and they're all moving around and uh, it's calm for Seattle. Thomas. Yes, sir. Now, what's the water like? We're always talking about it in Seattle. Chip thinks it's the best he's seen in years. What about you? Well, it's, it's, he's probably right because he's raced here more than I have, but uh, it's pretty good. It's uh, going to get worse though as the day goes on. Okay, is boat running as you want it to oh, right yeah. now? Yeah, we game plan right now is still on target, so uh, we're looking forward to getting the setup in there and going for it in the final heat. That's where the money is. Down at the Budweiser camp, they're putting the finishing touches on the repair of the left spots, and it looks like they'll be ready to go for the second go around. 7-Eleven, likewise, working on the area around the gearbox, so they yeah, should be seven, ready six, as well. Seven, and now it's time four. for the drawing for Heat 2A and 2B. We'll have that for you in a minute. We've just gotten word that the Miller Americans set a record, a heat record of 123.2 on that earlier heat. Back in a minute. 